Welcome back to Eater Race. This is week 76, day 2. Um, let's take a look at our defense. So, we got another failure. And after this, I did do some changes to my <clears throat> defense team. So, let's see how they got it. Oh, let's see their team first. We have an air. Plus three air with drawback and breath of life. Interesting. Then we have a bike. Plus one summoner supported. This is special spiral attack smoke and QR. We have a peony with fury attack plus one. Mumbo. We have a plus ten plus two aversa with uh, renewal address wave. HP rest 2, rally speed death, and we have a Rinka. Rinka is plus one Rinka with reposition, sturdy stance. So they just go straight up and tank with a bike. And yeah, on this one, Ishtar is one point short of, I, I mean, one HP under his max damage. So he is able to one shot her. This time, for some reason, Sotis moved, which Sotis never moves before anyone else. So that's pretty strange. Alright, so they get their bike ready. And they just park him in front of Sotis. He gets panicked because his HP is exactly 65. Yeah. Prepare yourself. And there goes Otis. Yes, Ether ready, so. Thanks to all. There was Leans. Because the special spiral, uh, he doesn't need like Lucina to be able to proc eaters every turn. And unfortunately, Ephraim is not gonna be able to do much. Ball tower damage. Which, a ball tower in a corner is something you don't see every day. Because it guarantees that it only hits two rows at most. <laughs> and that's it. They take us out without taking any ether. Which, at the very least, this team is properly scoring. Not like those teams that we already fought us already. But still, no ether. Um, I switched out Ishtar for Flora, Hardy Bear and Flora. Uh, thanks to Harfrost Knight, she gets like 38 defense on initiation. So, uh, this is just so not just like everything is not just gonna be park a bike right here. And then that's it, because then Ephraim will come and attack him as well. So at least this will give some variety to how people attack this map. Um, something weird did happen. Like, as you can see, I am a full ether right now. But there is still 51 minutes to reset. So I have no idea why my ether just refill. Uh, the game just updated, uh, but that has never happened. So, if you see that your ether is different for some reason, just please let me know because I have no idea why my ether refill uh, early. It's supposed to be at 240. Like after the first day, you do minus 100, which puts you at 150. You get 20 ether, puts you at 70. I mean at 170 and then you get the 70 extra and it puts you to 240 
So that's what it should be right now because uh, we haven't gone, it isn't the next day yet. So if it for some reason reset it early, it might screw up my week because it uh, means I'll have, I'll have one less fight to do. I'll only be able to do one less fight even if I don't miss any ether uh, the whole week. So, um, yeah, this never happens. Like, I always play at this, like, well, not always. When I got to work, I, I have to play earlier. But this is usually the time I play, like, right before reset. So, yeah, if, if you saw your ether for some reason change, let me know, please. Um, all right, so our offense teams should be the same. Um, let me see, I messed with Ephraim a little bit, but he's back to normal. Lilith. Oh yeah, um, I took away Io Shield and gave her drive speed. It's just a little more support. Roy still has this in defense. Tertiary air, and a secondary air has shield speed. The all air team. There is close car, okay. Ah, aerobatics. We're gonna switch that out to something more useful. Uh, I guess you can have like dry defense. Or distant guard, we'll give her distant guard. Because we already have close guard on this team with, well no, there's close guards on somebody else. And you still have the double smokes. All right, so we are ready to fight with our funky teams this week. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alincia is pretty scary. Uh, is there infantry pulse? Well, let's take a look at the team. Plus one Azura. Miracle. Okay, interesting. Drive attack. Yune with Fortress Death Rest, one of her best A skills. If I had it, mine would have it too. Um, plus one, plus five flowers, attack rest two, reposition. Again, there's Alincia, plus one, Amity Refine, reposition, death blow, noon time. Okay, mm, it's pretty much her base kit. Um, I don't remember. No, I think she comes with a no C skill. Plus 10 Lilina, 4 Blaze, Blazing Thunder, Death Blow, Wings of Mercy, Attack Smoke. Ophelia, mm, Ophelia, Rally Up Attack, Chill Rest, Laughing Dead, Hardy Bearing. Sothis, Attack plus 3, Gar. Alright, so. This is a plus six, 60 HP. I think I'm just gonna go over here. And I think um, this is another um, super Selkie. I mean, super Lilith. And I still, still have the new one. I might switch it out to like Wings of Mercy, Escape Route, something else. Just. But yeah, I think we're gonna go with the Super Lilith build because it's all magic with the exception of Alincia, but we do have color advantage against her. Um, from this spot, who cannot reach? You reach, you reach, you reach, you reach, you reach, and you reach. So we cannot tank from here because they'll all die. But we can tank from here. Yeah, I was like, mm, wait a minute, this is the wrong school. So if I tank from here, I'll be able to get one, two, one, two, three, four, and five. Elincia does hit pretty hard, and I have really low death. We yeah, should switch you to distant guard and have um, your run close guard. Because this is more of a player face team with 
more multiple dancers. While this is an extremely tank team. Um, gold flyers and war flyers, okay. So yeah, we'll go with this team. I do have to get rid of this stone. But that's pretty easy. Though this is more dangerous. So what about if I tank from here? Well, nobody reaches here from on turn one. So I could tank from like right here, but I don't wanna give anyone a way to ex escape. If I tank from right here, I can draw one, two, three. And then the two of you will go one here, one here, and then you will just go right here. Or you may move over here. Alright, uh, we'll go with that then. Alright, so we need Lilith on this side, we need third air over here, um, you can go over here and you're repositioned, so you're repositioning her out. I oh, know, we'll go with the drawback, that way I can have the buffs on Lilith on this side. Alright, so first thing first, we get rid of this bright shine. Then we do this. Right then. Um, we'll do this. The glimmer of life. And we'll set right here. So that's turn one. Certainly. We go Lilith here. Death's caress. Yes. Death's mm. caress. I want to put both airs. I guess we can do it if we do this. this the glimmer of life. All right, and you can go over here. And that should be good. Hmm. I guess she did not want to attack. Very interesting. Because it's Sora. How foolish. All right, and we can just leave you where you are. Anything you we can do this because nobody can reach you. We can even smite you. Because no one can reach you. You are bored? Okay. Uh, since I'm not getting the gold flyers. We'll go like this. Alright, and here's the cool thing about Lilith, she can do things like this. Just teleport across this and take out Sothis. Uh, you are Smite, so we can do this. Heal you. Reposition. And we're in range of this Lilina. Yes. Which yes. Yeah, <clears throat> we won't chance it. Uh Elincia should go after the heirs. Huh. 
And then we take this ether right here. And we teleport back on this side. And this is so fun. And that's how Lilith teleports all across the stream. Alright, and that's it. We are at 170. So yeah, we, we're back to 170. So it did not fix itself after I ended this battle. See? So... Um, I guess I'll know in about 40 minutes whether it refills again or not. But yeah, it did mess up and I am hoping that it didn't refill early for some reason. Um, okay, so since that was a quick fight, let's go to the news. Uh, news, there's a new chapter of the manga, Bound Hero Battle, but here's the big update. So, um, things coming to the game. There's going to be a new feature which allows you to buy accessories that you missed and brand new accessories. This is going to be through Ether Resort and they're acquired through r, &R Affinity. And as you can see over here, 8-bit Leaf is going to be one of them and it costs 360 r, &R Affinity or 380 r, &R Affinity so it's pretty expensive. Uh, Ephemera 5 are coming up and we got Bridal Ninian and Bridal Cordelia as the 5 star exclusives. Bridal Ninian has the Fresh Bouquet and Chill Attack. Um, Bridal Cordelia has Escape Route and the Cupid Arrow or Cupid Bow, I forgot which one it is. Um, I'll get them both for merges. And that's pretty much it. Then you have uh, Reposition. Um, you are um, Rest Tactics, but you need to 5 star her for that. Ignis with Henry. So is Life and Death. And Mercedes is fodder for AR Defense. Weapon Refinery. Um, we have uh, Sigbert getting his weapon refined, and we got new weapons for um, Gwendolyn, Leon, and Narcian. Narcian getting the Rune Axe, Leon getting the True of Heart, and Gwendolyn getting the Weighted Lance. I'm most excited in this for Narcian. Uh, the Double XP on the weekends is getting extended through Sunday. So it used to be only Friday and Saturday. Now it's going to be Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. If you buy the Forma packs um, and then recruit a Forma unit, that unit is also comes with 500 feathers. So nothing much. Uh, you can now pause your arena soul run so you don't have to do all uh, seven matches in a row. Or it's five matches. I don't remember. I don't really care about arena soul. But you don't have to do them all in once. And two items are getting upgraded. For iterates, Panic Manor is going up to level 7. Which is very big. Because now the Panic Manor is an extremely valuable uh, building. I mean, it, it's always been as... I always like Panic Manor, both on offense and defense. I have them both at level 6 right now. For deep for offense, you probably be able to level up with do like you did from five to six. But for defense, if it costs um, uh, stones, it costs fifteen hundred to go from five to six. So it might cost like five thousand to go from six to seven. So it's expected to be pretty expensive. But that means the HP cap is now seventy. 
which means sniping panic miners is even more crucial right now which means putting your panic miner on a difficult to get it makes it more valuable uh, 70 hp is extremely high most tanks only reach it with a triple mythic com like you just saw that uh, Lilith she was 71 hp but she could on only on that team because only with triple mythics and she's run hp seal as well so is the expect to see more triple mythic on your defense on when you're looking at your defense replays expect more teams to be running triple mythics uh mill nail strike upgraded some of the items there and heroic rails you can now get the flame emperor and bartry so you can now get flame emperor for merges and you can now get uh bartry for his weapon the curry cudgel because it's a very good weapon and that's about it here revivals Edgar, Lost Lord Spoils, yeah. nothing much. So yeah, uh, that about covers it for today. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all next time. Bye.